much. Let the choir relax. <laughs> but seriously, coming up today, the show is very serious, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be talking with some serious guests. Got some really funny guys, too. Comedians like Basket Mouth will be talking to 101. So he's going to be taking the mic. He's got some stand up stuff he's going to do. This is a very sad one, as Nigeria, West Africa, and the world at large lost someone very valuable to the media. It's someone that has put smiles on many faces. Dan Foster, the popular radio presenter, is dead due to COVID-19 and other health complications. You welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube. It's Vibes Plus, and I remain yours truly, ITAL, the vital ITAL, keeping it real. Before we get into it, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode. Daniel, Dan Foster, popularly known as the Big Dog or Top Dog, was a Nigerian-based American radio personality, formerly an Idol series judge. He also held a similar position with Got Talent franchise. Foster was brought up with three siblings in Washington, D.C. by their father. Dan's mother died while he was 10, but partly raised in Baltimore by his grandmother. As a teenager, Foster was rebellious but soon joined the Marines and attended Morgan State University where he studied broadcasting and drama. Foster worked with numerous radio stations, Katy Hawk's radio stations, Mix 106.5, bought in America, and Virgin Island-based WTBN before moving to Nigeria in the year 2000, where he joined Cool FM, quickly becoming popular with Nigerian listeners. A year later, he received an award for Best Radio Presenter of the Year. He also won the 2003, 2004, and 2005 Nigeria Media Merit Awards for Best Radio Personality. Foster has also been recognized by the City People Awards, a respected organization known for recognizing outstanding individuals who have touched the lives of citizens in the community. They have named him Media Person of the Year in 2004 again and in 2005. In September 2009, Foster left Cool FM for a new radio station, Inspiration FM, but left in 2014 to join City FM in May 2016. Then Foster left City FM 105.1 to join Classic FM, where he worked until his death on June 17, 2020. Watching television. Just kill your television. If you're at home, kill it. Just kill your television because it stops you from learning the concrete things and the elementary things that you need to learn. And it's because of that skill. We all need to go in the wilderness and develop some kind of skill to become good at what we do, whether it be a camera, whether it be a microphone, or whether it be a book with words, or a pencil and a pad to draw. So, uh, that's why I say kill your TV. <laughs> There's a lot of competition in America. I came to Nigeria because I needed more experience in morning radio. Okay, and the morning radio guys in the U.S. are making five million a year doing morning radio. And the best I could do at that time, because people just don't leave their jobs. They just don't die. They live forever and they never move away. So, so you got to go where the job is or to get the experience where you need to get the experience. So for me in America, the best I did was seven to 12 midnight at some radio station, seven to 12. But I had morning show kind of energy. I remember my boss saying, Dan, save that for the guys that make five million a year. But that was funny what you said, but between seven and 12, try to stick with the format, you know, easy on the jokes. Sticking with the format, be 7 to 12-ish when I was doing morning show kind of elements in my spirit. And I said, man, I need some more experience in morning radio. So uh, I needed to make a move. And radio, you always have to move, which is kind of crazy, you know. And uh, you need to do and follow your dreams and passion. And, uh, it was an internet website that actually, you can put your best radio stuff on this website and people all over the world will discover you. And if they like you, then they'll make you an offer. Hey, we heard your tape on the radio station that you were at before and we want to make you an offer. So I was getting offers all over. I was like, yes, they like the tape I sent in. And there was a company that, uh, the Cool FM company, uh, they liked the tape. Chris Obosi, I'll never forget this letter that he wrote me. I was so excited. 
It's kind of weird though, because I thought I was going back to the Virgin Islands when I first did my radio. Virgin Islands is like VI. So when I said VI, yes, I'm going back to VI, yes. It wasn't the Virgin Islands. It was Victoria Island, Lagos. I punched in the internet and I saw Lagos. Oh my God. Lagos, I said, is this where the Virgin Island is? I never knew that. Oh my God, oh my, oh, I'm no. I saw pictures of a shoddy, a shoddy. I'm like, is this a shoddy? Oh Lord, is this where the, oh no, I'm not coming. Uh, by then I signed all the paperwork and said I'm coming. I wasn't going, but there was some Nigerian brothers that worked with me at, a, at another telephone company where we were working at. And they were like, no, you're going to be fine. Victoria Island, Lagos, it's fine. So the two Nigerian brothers was convincing me, go, go. Then there was another Nigerian brother that was there that's like, don't go, stay here. Nigeria is messed up. That's why these two Nigerians are in America. Don't listen to them. You will be coming back. So they were fighting among me. Hey, it's okay. I want to go. I want to check it out. And I came. And I've been here for over 10 years now, over 12 years. So I kind of like it here a lot because I'm working my gift. A man needs to go where he's good at, you know, where, where, his, where his job is and where his passion for his work is. And uh, when I came in 2000, it was right at the changing point. What, four radio stations, three radio stations, three popular, you know, I know them. When I started, the first thing I did was listen to all the other stations, see what they were doing in morning radio. For me, morning radio was the key. As your morning goes, so goes your radio station. So you wanted to attack the morning. Um, strongly with I had all these gimmicks and elements I would use anything to entertain people in the morning and then you know hook them and then grab their attention it's all about grabbing their attention and uh, hoping that the sponsors are listening and, and making it entertaining so uh, there was a there was an opening there was a loophole they wasn't doing morning radio really correctly well to be able to hold people's attention well well and, uh, I, I tapped in on that a little bit once I came here because I had all these little cute devices and tactics to be able to hold people, where there was calling them, winding them up on the phone, where there was uh, um, playing something comical from a comedian or something to be able to hold their attention. In 2007, Foster was a judge on one of Idol's West Africa series, alongside Nigerian Dede Mabiaku and Ghanaian Abrewa Nana. During the show's run, he was compared to American counterpart Randy Jackson, although he received some criticism for not attending the Ghana auditions. He was currently a judge on Nigeria's Got Talent, alongside actress Kate Henshaw and comedian Ibo Koko. In 2001, Foster featured in a Nollywood movie titled Face of a Liar, and Foster had a son named Joshua from his previous marriage. He was married to a Nigerian named Lavina. The couple were parents of daughters, Kayla, Daniela and son, Somto Chuku, Foster died on 17th of June, 2020. The whole media industry and all radio listeners would definitely miss Dan Foster. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Dan Foster, our radio legend. Vibers, you can as well drop your tributes for the great radio hero in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get notifications when next we upload another content. It's Vibes Plus, and I remain yours truly, ITAL the Vital Idol, keeping it real. <laughs>